You're joining us live here at CES 2015 at the WebMD Wellness Lounge. I'm Dr. Daniel Kraft, Chair of Medicine at Singularity University and for Exponential Medicine. And uh, we're here uh, with Mr. Williams, coming to us from Australia, uh, looking at the future and the cutting edge of wellness and sports. Uh, welcome, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and MyZone. Yeah, th thank you, Daniel. Um, as you said, Emmett Williams, the president of CFM International, uh, we're the company that developed uh, MyZone. And the thing about CFM is that we've got a 25 year history in the health and fitness industry. So we have a unique perspective as to why people join up at the gym in January and then give it up by February or March. And you know, we didn't wake up one day wanting to create a wearable device. We woke up one day in a strategic meeting and wanted to solve that specific problem. So tell us about your solution at Wellza. Yep, okay, in the fitness tracking space, there's really two ends to the continuum. Um, at one end, it's all about lifestyle and convenience and fashion, um, and they're typically accelerometers or even pulse meters. And at the other end, you've got sports performance and medical devices. And what we've attempted to do and what we have done is converge the two. So we've used a very accurate device, a device which is 99.4% accurate to an EKG machine, and we've made it palatable for the mass market through our unique uh, metric called MEPS, which is my zone effort points, where we reward the user for both uh, time and intensity, which is effectively effort. And so as you mentioned, a lot of people fall off their exercise regimens. Yep. What you're able to do is you have real-time heart rate data yes. that's tied to points, incentives, feedback loops. Yep. Give us a use case. Yep, okay, so a member, th this is a, a device that you only wear when you're doing exercise. You don't wear it all day. But when you do do exercise, you put the device on, it reads or streams live to your phone through Bluetooth and uploads to the cloud. Uh, we use a bunch of gamification um, uh, tools and mechanisms such as challenges, status ranking, badges, so on and so forth. And the most interesting one, particularly in the, uh, the, the medical field, is the status ranking based around the World Health Organization's guidelines. So they've come out and said, hey look, uh, our recommend, uh, recommendation is that users um, do 150 minutes a week of moderate activity or 75 minutes a week of vigorous activity. We've um, applied our point system to that recommendation and we've applied our status ranking to that. So if you hit that three months in a row, you earn gold status. Six months in a row, six, 12 months uh, gold, so on and so forth, right through uh, platinum and diamond. And you're able to tune those sort of feedback loops and incentives to the individual? Yes, because it's heart rate, it is applied to the individual and it's irrespective of their fitness level. So if I'm a real beginner and you're a super athlete and uh, the point system suggests that, hey, when you're doing high intensity, you get four points per minute, then if you're the athlete, you might have to be jumping at a lot quicker rate than what I would have to be doing in order to earn those points. So in many ways, we're a golf handicap that levels the playing field. And you're moving, as you mentioned, beyond sort of the wellness side into the medical side, cardiac rehab, for example. Yes, um, we've got uh, many examples of working with cardiac rehab and also diabetes. And the way that works is that the leader of the network is effectively prescribing exercise, uh, but now keeping them accountable to that and using their own app to give corrective feedback, to acknowledge, to support, and to play games within the group so that it's not just medicine that they have to take and an obligation, but it becomes enjoyable. And effectively, we're tapping into the dopamine cycle of cues and routines and rewards to achieve that. Right. Have you been changing and iterating the software side of this as, as well as the technology side? Yeah, yeah, we have. And that's the reason that we're out here at the CES uh, this week. Not only have we got the new Bluetooth belt, um, but we're putting a lot of effort into data analytics. Um, it's one thing to track what users are doing and then reward them, um, and it's another thing to try and progress them from extrinsic motivation to intrinsic, and we believe one of the most powerful ways of doing that is drilling into the data and understanding their patterns of behavior and uh, identifying when they may be falling off the wagon and reaching out to them um, with a solution or an intervention. Being much more proactive. Yes. So how do folks uh, access your technology today? Great, you uh, go to myzone.org and it's all there for you. Typically we work with uh, database uh, owners such as fitness centers and corporate wellness and uh, physician groups and the like. Um, and in March we'll be opening it up for the uh, consumer to buy direct. And this is not just in Australia, it's global? No, it's not. Despite the accent, I, uh, <laughs> I, I am from Australia, but I, I'm based out of Chicago and we've got, we're an international company. We've got three offices, one in Australia, one here in the United States and one out in the UK. Terrific. Thanks for joining us from MyZone. Some terrific proactive technology that's uh, I think going to be a game changer for health, wellness, and the medical applications. Appreciate it, Daniel. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Signing off from CS 2015.